Hey guys, welcome back to Fixing It. And today we're gonna change the front brakes on this 2016 Mazda ZX-5. All right guys, jack up the car, remove the wheel. And we're gonna start by removing the caliper. You need to remove this 14 millimeter bolt and this one right here. Now you can remove this. Okay, tie up the caliper so it's not just hanging from the brake line because you might damage the brake line if you do that, okay? Next, we're gonna remove the brake pads. To just come right off. And now we need to remove this bracket. So you need to take off this 17 millimeter here and the other one on top, okay? All right, guys, turn the wheel so you have better access to these bolts. Just break them loose. Now you can take the rotor off. Okay, these are the new rotors. This is the part number. And they're the same for both sides. And make sure they match the old one, okay? And this is the part number for, for the pads, okay? This is what the pads look like. All right, guys, get yourself some brake parts cleaner. And you're gonna clean the rotors because they come from the factory with some kind of coating. So, just wanna clean them up real quick. Next wire wheel, the hub. Apply some grease. Install the rotor and use a lug nut to hold it in place. Okay, next you wanna take off these clips. And why are we on this? Okay, get your new clips and match them to the old ones and just pop these on. Next, remove the slide pins and I would do these one at a time. So, because these are different. This one has the rubber piece, this one doesn't. So you wanna make sure you put them back in the same spot. So clean them up. Use some of this uh, lubricant that's silicone based. You don't want to use uh, anything else because if you put something else, it's going to mess up the rubber, okay? okay? Just slide these back in. Do the same thing on this side. So and this one is not completely round. It's kind of a little bit slotted. the bracket
Okay, these pads came with wear sensors. They usually come already attached, but these you have to attach them yourself. So now you have to figure out where you're gonna put them. They go on the inside pad, okay? And it's gonna go on the leading edge. So if the wheel's turning this way, you need to put them on top, okay? So see this little part here? That's where you're gonna attach them just like that. All right, apply a little grease on the sides of this before you throw them on. And make sure you throw, throw them on with this side facing the road and not the metal part. I've seen people actually do that. So these just slide right on here, like that. All right, apply a little grease on the back of this. Okay, next we need to compress this piston. So just take an old brake pad and put it in there and take a C-clamp. And then what you're gonna do is compress it. Make sure this line is not twisted. Throw a little bit of grease on the road in here so the tire, the wheel doesn't get stuck on it. All right, guys, repeat the process on the other side and then you're all done. I hope this video helped you out. Like and subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Take care.